A time travel experiment at Stonehenge has accidentally sent Donald, his nephews, and Gyro Jirlus back to the days of King Arthur. Unfortunately, the real Arthur is not the knight in shining armor of the storybooks, but a Dark Age barbarian warlord and he's mad at Donald. Off with the Saxon's head! What? Put that damn guidebook to a I good guess. use and find out when there will be an eclipse. We'll amaze these dopes with our magic. But that only works in old movies and comic books. Unka Donald typecast. Don't argue. Cook up an eclipse. It's my only chance. Then you have two options. Get them to pack up camp and move to Madagascar. Or stay here and convince them to delay the execution for 237 Hi, years, 5 months, and... Never mind. Seize these whelks and sell them in the slave market! Executioner Hi, proceed! Uncle Donald! But what about Gyro, who's still waiting outside in the truck? What's keeping them? Typecast. How though? Okay, I'll give them a little toot. Sounds! Saxon war trumpets! Nay, tis the horn of Gabriel! Or a gaggle of banshees! You mean a pride of banshees? Whatever! Yeah, that sound distracted them! Then let's get out of here before they notice us! What's the rush? Just turn this truck around and peel out. We'll explain later. Where to? Back to Stonehenge. Podcast. You need to fix the time helmet we left back there. The trumpet call was a trick. Podcast. Lord, the Saxons have escaped. This is very bad. Enemies have always attacked because Podcast. they fear not my meager crew. Now invaders will hear more news. Of our weakness. Typecast. We must pursue those Saxons and destroy them. Two arms. They took the road to that ancient stone circle our peasants are used to stabilize stuff. Soon. There I've reattached the helmet with a stronger cord. Now if I can just fine tune the time circuits. You'd better or we're marooned in the fifth century. But how? Without any of my equipment? I have no hyper transistors, or atomic diodes, or flux capacitors, or nuclear discombobulators, or even a screwdriver. You're saying you can't fix it? Oh, sure I can fix it. Might just take an extra hour or so. First, I'll aim the solar collector at the noon sun. What yes. do you want? Can't you see we're busy? Prepare to meet thy maker, Saxon dogs! Cast. Let's make a run for it. We've got the time helmet now. We'll put plenty of distance between us this time. Out of gas, where's Cast. the nearest gas station? Only about time three miles cast. from here, and 15 centuries. Their horse seems to have run off. Attack the chariot. Uh, you attack it? You're the only one with a sword. What a worthless army I lead. Very well. Then have at you, varlets. By the stars, Hi. they are sitting in a block of warm ice. Perhaps it is merely hard air. We can still see the young ones in the rear of the chariot. Got you, Saxon Reds. Help, Uncle Donald, help. Those women have grabbed the kids. I've got to save him. But what can we do against a dozen bloodthirsty barbarians? I I don't know, but that CD King Arthur will have a triple feature on his chopping block if I don't do something. Ah, you, that nubby. Drop those kids and get out of here. Time 
Jeepers, what happened? Now I get it. This ancient stone circle is actually some sort of astral battery. That's the explanation for the power surge that sent us all back here. The solar collector tapped the power of the henge and fed it into the helmet. You knocked those warriors back with sheer telekinetic force. Oops, and my nephews too. By Jupiter, what hit us? The Saxons repelled us by legit sire. I saw the mystic force seething around Hi, that strange object. It looks like a bowl. A huge drinking vessel. Verily, an enchanted cup Type filled cast. with th the power of God. With a weapon such as that, you could strike fear into Type all cast. invaders. You say the sooth. I must have that chalice. Attack half my kingdom to you who captures that holy grail. Here they come Type again. Cast. We can't find them off forever, and you need time to fix Type the time cast. helmet. I have an idea. By concentrating while wearing it, I can make the light rays Time from cast. behind us bend around us. We'll be invisible from their viewpoint. Huh? What? Sounds! They disappeared! Henge and all! Ha! They have Time been driven cast. off in fear of the terrible warlord, Arturius Ryle Famous! Oxfruit! Next, they'll turn us all into nukes! Run away! Flee like bats out of Hades! That Time scared cast. them off. But they still have Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Give me the helmet! I'll go beat those burns to bits with brain power! You can't do that! The preternatural force that powers that helmet exists only inside the Ring of Stonehenge typecast. So what can we do? Obviously, instead typecast. of collecting solar power, the dish is gathering the astral power of Stonehenge. But maybe, can rewire it to also act as a power transmitter. I'll Type turn cast. the helmet into a wireless receiver and beam the power of Stonehenge directly to it. Well, I don't understand any of this, but as long as you do, get Type to work. Cast. Shortly. Type the cast. antenna will receive the transmitted energy beam and this new helmet's electronics will transform it into power you can use. What's with the full helmet design? Type cast. It's to protect you. Those Britons could throw spears at you from all directions, so I've also made you an entire protective suit from truck park. Good idea. You have to hurry, though. Type cast. I realize now that the enormous power surge we had at dawn was the rising sun striking stone edge on the day of the autumnal equinox. Since the equinox is the exact instant when the sun's power is balanced, we can only get home with a reciprocal power surge. Our only chance is to leave today, precisely at sunset. The surge at any other time won't match the one that sent us here. It might send us centuries off our target date. Save the explanation. I'll get the kids back here by sunset. You'll need this walkie-talkie so I can. One UN time is running Type short, cast. but, hum, it might interfere with the power beam. Ah, uh, no. Type My cast. helper can carry it for you. Him. Just don't get underfoot when I start doing my stuff. Squirt. Get going. You have all the astral power you'll need to save the kids by the time you get to Camelot. The merciless sun, unconcerned with the fate of time-lost ducks, continues its relentless journey across the sky. But soon... Sol is now low in the west over the Isle of Avalonia. It is time to send these Saxon whelps to the land beyond beyond. This is it, then. Dewey dies at dusk. Anka Donald will save us, I hope. 
the soaring planes will tell the greatness of our curious two invaders in every corner of. Throw that loud mouth bard out of here and light the fire. Who what is that? It looks as if our gate has been yar. Breached! Thee can say that again! Lord! His Toure's monster can Typecast! Nay, tis an attack by the Frost Giants! Methinks tis the fearsome boar of Glastonbury! Sounds! Tis a midget! Metal midget! Typecast! Is it Anka Donald? Nothing can save you from me. I am invincible. Tidecast. I am doom itself. Yep, that's him. All right. Same old corny line. Add a boy, Anka Donald. Jatine! Oh, those sweet little birdies need a place to nest. I'll build a birdhouse for them. Helping to find feathered friends in their time of need gives me a warm feeling inside. Typecast. Finished, and it's beautiful. But where are the birds? And on your right you can see Scrooge and Duck. Duckburg's meanest, I mean richest duck. He's never made a deal he's lost money on. Just look at him. Money certainly hasn't brought him any happiness. Good morning, this time fast. Has that dreadful nude woman arrived yet? Typecast. If you mean the woman from the Neurotic Nudes Foundation. Yes, I'm here, and you're a very rude duck. Typecast. Oh no, I didn't mean you. I meant the woman from the Be Nasty to Nudes Action Group. Group group. Typecast. Good. Well, I'm sure you'll be donating something very valuable for our charity sale then. Typecast. Yes, of course. In fact, I'd like to give you one of my favorite paintings, my Decal Clown. Thank you Typecast. very much, Mr. Duck. Anything for the newts. Mr. Duck. I think the dreadful newt woman has stolen one of your paintings. That's all right, Miss Typefast. I gave it to her. I've always hated that painting. Not only that, but it was worthless. Donald gave it to me, so it must have been. Now I can go and buy myself a painting that Typecast. will be a decent investment to hang in its place. So, not long afterwards... Mr. Zinfandel, I've got something you might want to buy. I was right! Those clown paintings by the Calamari are obviously to a penny! Typecast. Everyone's got one! A posh dealer like Lomax Infandel will probably boot that stupid man out when he sees Typecast. that dreadful painting. Thanks very much, Lomax. What? Typecast. I don't believe it! Young man, young man. How much did Mr. Zinfandel pay you for that painting? Typecast. $10,000. Why? Oh no! And I gave mine to the newts. I've got to buy that painting back. 
But if I buy back my own painting, that dreadful new woman's bound to realize it's valuable. Tidecast. Uh, of course, a disguise. And so soon. Five dollars for a dress. Tidecast. Still, if I offer that dreadful new woman ten dollars for the painting, I'll still make a good profit. Tidecast. Not long afterwards. Oh no! Lomax and Fandles here too. He's bound to spot the Dakawamari. I've got to get into the hall before him. Make way! Make way! Typecast. Incoming frail little old lady. I must try this trick at the Duckburg Post Office. Typecast. Ah, there's the painting. This would look rather nice in my impoverished little hovel. I'll give you five dollars for it. Twenty-five. But I'm a frail little old lady. Typecast. I'll give you ten. Twenty-five. It's for Signus. Fifteen. Typecast. Twenty-five. How amazing. I must have it. What a work of art. It must be worth a fortune. Typecast. Oh, no! Twenty dollars then, and that's my life savings? Stop! Hey, it's Scrooge and Duck. The one who gave me the painting in the first place. I don't believe this. Why would he? Of course. He must have found out that the painting is much more valuable than he thought it was. Stop, thief. The nerves of newts are at stake. Catch him, and nervous newts might be a thing of the past. Oh no, they're gaining. This calls for desperate I measures. Here's... Here goes Hey, What's that funny smell? Yuck, what a stink. Even I don't love Newt's enough to follow him down there. Soon. Uh, I never realized being an art lover could be so dangerous. Got you, Mr. McDuck. Now, there's someone who's been very worried about you. Waiting for you on the decay. Soon. Typecast. Give me my painting back. Your painting? I bought it fair and square. Typecast. You just realized that it was valuable and tried to cheat me. What ingratitude. I was. Hold Typecast. on. I'm sure that we can reach some kind of compromise. What's the least you'd accept for the picture? Five thousand dollars. One compromise later. Hell ha! I got her to accept a thousand dollars in the end. That's still a clear nine thousand profit for me. Soon. Typecast. A shame to waste the dress. It might still be worth a dollar for rags. But I can't wait to hear what Zinfandel will offer me for this. But inside... Two dollars, but you just bought a similar to Koamari for ten thousand dollars. That wasn't for the painting, that was for the fabulous Da Canaloni picture frame that it was in. But at the Newt Foundation sale, you said it Ty must cast. be worth a fortune. That wasn't the painting, that was the gorgeous 1919 Diane creation you were wearing. By the way, what happened to it? Oh no, it's been emptied! Oh dear, Tidecast. what a shame. That dress must be worth at least $50,000. Later. Cast. Where is it? Where is it? Isn't that Duckburg's meanest? 
point I mean riches man, Scrooge and Doc? It sure is, if you have to do that to be rich, I'm happy being poor. Happy birthday, Uncle Donald! Oh, I wish you wouldn't scare me like that. I thought the house was on fire. We baked you a cake! Thanks, but I don't think I'm up to cake this early in the morning. The idea makes me feel it. It's alright. It's a breakfast cake. It's made from eggs, bacon, marmalade, muesli, coffee, butter. Uh, even so, can't we keep it for the party? I'm afraid you're not having your normal boring birthday party this year. What's this? It's your birthday present. All your family Time and cast. friends club together to buy it for you. Even Scrooge gave us a dollar. It fell Time out cast. of his pocket when we dangled him upside down from a hot air balloon. This is my birthday present from everyone. A card, that's all. What? But I'm not a king. Happy birthday, your majesty. You are today. This is your present. This is what we all paid for, for you to go on aching for a day trip. Good morning, your highness. I trust you slept well. Who are you? This is Quentin. He's your manservant. He's going to treat you like a king for the day. A little later. I hope your majesty enjoys the feel of ermine. Yeah, it's no bad. I wonder if you can get sailor suits made out of this stuff. The crown rather suits me too, doesn't it? Most certainly. Your highness. And I hope you'll find your coach to your liking. Also. Wow, I'm going to be riding round in this. Typecast. Of course you are. You're king for a day, remember? Thanks, boy. Cast. This is the best birthday present I've ever had. I've got a feeling I'm really going to enjoy being a king. One thing's for sure. It's going to be a lot more fun than just having a plain ordinary boring birthday party. I always thought that duck was a stock-stop twit. Farewell, my subject. Clean up the palace while I'm away, will you? Oh dear, I hope this doesn't go to his head. Oh dear, what a kingly dilemma. Caviar and chocolate, which to eat first? Of course, I'll eat them both at once. How clever of me. I bet even King Solomon wouldn't have thought of that one. Mam, delicious. Fishy and marzipani at the same time. Much better than that bacon muesli concoction the AR kids brought me. Out of my way! What are there? Oh dear, how very unregal. I'm sorry, your highness. He pulled out, right in front of me. Someone else must have stolen my king for a day, idea. Yes, but if you stop that quickly again, I'll have you beheaded. How strange. I wonder why his coach has got blacked out windows. What's the point of being king for a day if no one can see you? Take me somewhere where I can be seen. Your word is my command. Your majesty. You could at least have said please if this job is enough to turn one into a republican. Soon. Wow, this is more like it. Hiring all these people must have cost my friends and family a fortune. Three cheers for the king! I don't believe it. I didn't arrange all this. What's going on? Here he comes. Ready? One, two. Three. Hey, what do you think you're? Have a chocolate, you poor commoner. Doing. Giddy up. Hey, be careful! Now, I won't know which I one for the coffee cream. I demand that you... Hey, be careful. We're heading straight for that. 
Cross, W ho are you? No, please. I beg you. I. No, Your Majesty, we beg you. We beg you to forgive us for kidnapping you, but we couldn't think of any other way to Type get cast. to talk to you. Your Majesty, your people are starving. You don't know that it's like to have no money. Yes, I do. I once had to live off cabbage for a whole month. It was horrible. But you're our king. You're the king of Somiania. You're one of the richest men in the world. How? You think I'm the king of Somiania? Who else but the king of Somiania would attend a civic reception for the king of Somiania? So that's why there were all those people cheering. I'm afraid you kidnapped the wrong person. I'm not really a king. My friends and family just paid for me to be treated like a king for a day as it's my birthday. Do you think he's telling the truth? I yes. guess he must be. He knows how horrible it is to live off cabbage for a month after all. I'm very sorry. I hope we haven't ruined your birthday. Don't worry about it. I normally just have a plain ordinary boring party. At least kidnapping's a chain. There's just one thing worrying me. If you're from Somiania, how come you I don't can't. know what your king looks like? No one does. No one's seen him for 15 years. He's become a very secretive man. He even has the windows of the state carriage back out. We thought he might let his guard down when he was abroad. We thought we might get a chance to talk to him. All we want to do is explain to him how his people have no money to feed or clothe themselves properly. But he won't talk to anyone. Oh, won't he? Well, fortunately I'm not just anyone. I'm a king, aren't I? I'm sure he'll talk to me. And so... This is the place. He's staying in the penthouse suite on the top floor. One lift ride later. I wonder how one addresses Cat -cat. the king of Somiania. Your miserliness would probably be best. Who are you? What do you want? Who do you think I am? I'm a king, obviously. Cat. And I want to talk to the king of Somiania. King of where? King of where? King of, king of, oh, uh, yes, of course. King of Candelabria. Never heard of it. Anyhow, the king of Sorania is busy, so go away. Make me. One more lift right later. And don't you dare come back. I'll instruct the hotel staff to keep an eye on you, intruder. Right, that's it. Candelabria and Somiania are at war. Well, thank you for trying anyhow. Time. I'm not giving up now. I meant it. This is war. There must be a way I can get to see Time the king cast. of Somiania. So? I want to give him a good piece of my mind. Maybe we should rev up the horses. I think we might need to make a fast getaway. Oh, peeping Tom. Time oh dear, cast. I feel a bit dizzy. I don't think I'm going to make it to the top. Yuck, the dog's water's gone off. It smells of goat sick. Oh, that's better. Phew, made Time it. Cast. Now, to see if I can find out which room the king of Somiania is in. If those shoes aren't polished by Tight the time cast. I get back, I'll make you eat them for supper. That must be the king of Somiania's footman. How could a king allow one of his Tight own cast. servants to become so thin and wretched? Don't worry, I'm here to help you. I'm going to give the king of Somiania a lesson on how to treat his subject. But I'm the king of Somiania. What? My manservant, Type Trevor, cast. has been holding me captive for the last 15 years and has been ruling the country in my place. He treats me as his servant. Type he cast. never allows me to see anyone. He only brought me on this state trip to Duckworth so as not to rouse suspicion and will be on our tour of the city now so you better get out of here. Ah, oh, 
I thought I heard voices. Looks like I've caught another king for my collection. Hand over your crown. I can now crown myself King of Candelabria too. Not if I crown you King of the Bullies, but come on, your majesty. Seconds later. Let's get out of here. Come back here, you. Giddy up, boys. Tight get cats. galloping, you horrible horses. Oh dear, he's gaining on us. Soon. Let's try up here. Help me, please. Only if you let us talk to the Tight king of Samiania. I'm the king of Samiania. But you can't be, you look just like us. I am just like you, I know how you've been suffering. I know what it's like to live off cabbage for a month. Hey, what about me? When I get back to Somenia, I'm going to make sure none of my subjects ever Time goes cast. hungry again. First, I think we better rescue my manservant, though. I'm slipping help. And so? I don't know how I can ever thank you. Your people Time must cast. be very proud of you. My people, though, you mean my nephews? Well, they try and hide it, but yes, Time I think they cast. are. Thank you again. One day I hope to visit your palace in Candelabria. What? My palace? No, you don't understand. I... Later. Uncle Donald, we were so worried about you. Your Highness, the first so sorry about all this to make it up to you. You can be king for a week for free. Thank you, but no thank you. I'm Tight done with cast. being a king. Next year, boys, I just want to play an ordinary boring birthday party as usual. <laughs>